All right, so if we're taking a look at the melody um, and kind of the intro from the beginning, we have this guitar intro. So the chord that he's playing there, I think, is this. And then I think this. Something like that. So. I think that's what it is. Let's just just let's take a look. sus or like a uh, a flat over e flat which makes sense because that's where that where the end is sort of at um but it's got something chunky which is this guy right okay which isn't supposed to be there so it's an a flat uh over e flat uh with a sharp nine cool cool i think Plays a chord at the up. Oh, I missed. I missed uh, what I just had. No, that's wrong. Oh yeah, A flat. A flat over E flat. That's right. Could be... Cool. I think, I think that's the intro for the most part. Um, so was, if I was gonna go s real slow. Now it's supposed to be. Um, right, but because he needs to pop to this chord, he's going. Which makes it sound like. 
which is not. It's just... And he's just trying to play it fast to get there, so... And I, for, I keep forgetting this chord. It's just not super memorable to me. And we have the chords. So I think he's playing this for the first A flat. Then I think he's probably playing that for the A flat chord. And then probably this for the F minor chord. And then probably And then probably this. Because this is not really negotiable. And then back to here. And then probably this guy. Actually, he probably plays. And then probably does play the upside down here. Or unless he just pops up and... I don't hear this really in it though. So I think he does play it down here. And then back to this A, A flat up here. Yeah, I don't think I hear. Yeah, I think that's what I'm hearing as far as the guitar and the chords and everything go. Um, so going through that real slow, I guess, um, we have this A flat six chord up top. So four, six, five, six. So it's a, I think it's an A flat up top. And then this is the six. So it's probably an F, yeah, F and then this is the three, so it's your uh, C, and then here's your A flat on the root. Now if you play the exact same shape, but down one string, it turns it into a dominant chord instead of flat seven chord. So D flat seven gets played there. Um, so we have... And then there's an A flat, A flat major seven chord happening. We want to play the whole thing, but I, yeah, I don't think he's playing the whole thing. I think he's just playing these four strings. Which is five, five, four, four. If you can fat finger these and just kind of then good for you. I feel terrible doing that, so I do this. Um, but I think that's what he's playing for his A flat major sevens. I think he's playing his F minor sevens as just barring these first four one frets. You could play it as a straight up if you really want, if you want to. If you're accompanying, it might be really nice. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a big, it's a lot of work. Um, so then we can pop up to the C minor seven. We can take down a little bit of our workload by not playing that low C. You can actually just bar those that those two strings and 
play everything but C. So that's an option without the low C in it. So we have, or and then, uh, so when you go back down to play F, it's F7 now, not F minor. So we have to add your, po your middle finger on that second fret um, on your G string. So that's a super important little thing. So we're at this C minor. Um, and then from there we have this B flat uh, over D, which I often try to fat finger. Doesn't always work. I miss that high string. But uh, it's four, three, three, two. So D flat, F, B flat, D flat. Um, just on the middle four, four strings there. And then after that, it's a C minor seven. And then slide down to B flat minor seven, which again, you can do a lot less work for yourself if you just don't play that lowest note. You got this C minor seven. one to the other, but then we do need this B, this B diminished. You could just play it as an upside down triangle right here and it might work out just fine for you. Um, but adding the low B, I mean, really what they want you to play is, sorry. And then that goes to, sorry, just D flat seven. That's what they want you to play. So they want you to put the root in there for the C minor. Because the whole point is that it goes. So it should be this um, C minor, B flat minor, B diminished, and then A flat over C, which turns into D flat, D flat, D flat, sorry, D flat which then turns into uh, A flat. Um, and it's a major seven chord. Right, um, and if you play the whole thing, it doesn't sound as, as nice. So just these four, you know, tends to be a pretty good little spot for that. And then we drop down to the F, F minor, and then B flat minor, and then E flat seven which you can play up here, you can play as the little upside down version over here, which is what I think he's doing. Um, and then we're back to the beginning. Um, now there's only a couple chords I haven't gone over and they're in the B section. So the B section starts uh, B flat minor seven. You can play it down here if you want to. Um, I play it up here just cause it's, it gives it a new feel, gives the whole bridge kind of a new voicing, kind of a new sound. Um, so we have this, so we have this B flat minor seven and then E flat seven, which we, again, we can play down here if we want to as this upside down, sorry, for E flat seven and we can play the B minor, B flat minor. Yeah. Um, and that's entirely up to you. And then we have the A flat major seven, which again, I think he's playing as these top four strings, but you can play as the whole thing. And then we have the A flat six, um, which we can play up here. You can also play it here. If you just want a low one, that's a four, skip your A string, and then three, five, four. So it's an A flat, and then an F, and then a uh, C, and then an A flat again. It's actually the same thing as this. It's just upside down. It's just in the, the other arrangement. Um, and then uh, C7, which we haven't played yet. Um, again, you can leave the root off if you want to and just go. But, you know, if you add the root, then you 
you get that cool do 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 ba bum or ba ba. I can't actually sing that low. My range is down to a G, I think. Um, in any case, so down to this F minor chord, um, which we've already talked about. We could just play as the four fingers or four four frets there. Just then we have D minor is what I have D flat minor I've not talked about yet. So do the whole chord. It's D flat starting on the fourth fret. And it's only one fret, one beat. Now luckily the same shape is what you need to play on G flat, second fret, to get that next one. So it's and then your dominant shape on B starting on your on your A. So it's that nice and fun D flat minor, G7, B flat seven, or B7. Um, two, five, one. Now, if we label this properly, it should be a C sharp and then an F sharp, but I'm not going to pull out the notation police today. Um, and then we have E flat, E, sorry, we have E7. So E7 is like E flat 7, it just starts on the second fret. So it's this guy. If we want to get jazzy about it. We can also play it as this. That's entirely up to you. You can play just one finger, those bottom ones if you want to. It's totally up to you what you decide that you want to do. Um, and then after that is a gross chord. So if you were playing it as an E up here, then you slide this one and this one back, but your pinky has to stay over here. It's gross. And I tend to play them one at a time, like a... Right? Um, but, like... It doesn't sound as good as if you can nail it, you know? Like a... And I'm doing all sorts of bad stuff that I'm not supposed to because it's hard for me to play that right now. Um, but, you know, if I put my guitar out and I remember my form, keep my chest up and, you know, do all the things, I can totally play it. So, that's the last weird one for the most part. Um, there, oh, sorry, second to last weird one, very last actual weird one is the uh, F7 flat 9. Um as well as the A flat major seven over E flat. So the F seven flat nine actually um, is a terrible trash chord. Um, really, I would almost just bar just this first little bit, like almost just smash it, you know? And then my ring and middle fingers like are in my, on the E and the G string and it's just trash. <laughs> Yeah, uh, basically it's one, two, one, two, and it's also not fun. Um, if you can bar all of it and play the low F, kudos to you, but you know, no requirement there. Um, and then last but not least is the A flat over E flat. The reason I haven't talked about it is because we already talked about it kind of. So when we did the A flat over C, um, if you just don't do the C, if you do, one 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 three over here, right? That is A flat over E flat, because um, the lowest notes is the E flat. The rest of this makes your A, a flat chord, um, A flat major seven chord even. So yeah. Um. So,
All right. Chords, melody. I think that's pretty much everything I got for you. Um, I will say that when you're soloing through it, you can basically just use A flat most of the time. There's a couple special times when you can do other stuff, but A flat major generally. If you want some cool perspectives, then you can play other stuff in different places, um, especially pentatonics, um, playing A flat pentatonic is really nice. Playing D flat pentatonic over this would be pretty cool. Playing E flat pentatonic. Um, all of those can be really, really nice. Uh, if you're in the minor pentatonics, then you know starting in different spots would really be the way to go. Like your F minor pentatonic would be great. Your your uh, C minor pentatonic would be great. Um, yeah, lots and lots of good options as far as stuff goes. Um, but yeah, play along to it a little bit, do a little bit of soloing. I can give you, I can give you one quick, ex you know, sort of chorus example of uh, me soloing if you want me to. Um, and go all the way at 70 just to do it right. <clears throat> this part I'm so bad at the B section okay well we're soloing it, it, well it, it's fine it's fine it's fine you know we'll, we'll pretend the B section is a solo uh, I just want to remember the melody so badly 
I thought that was the final time, but yeah, that's what I got for you, man. Um, we got the chords for most of it. If I didn't quite get them all in there for you, um, feel free to ask, but yeah, it should be. Or this other one should be pretty straightforward overall. We go into the B section instead, we'll just pretend that we did that already. We have that terrible F chord, so I'll just go ahead and play it. And then we have... T flat. Try. I prefer this one just so. Sorry. Um, no, nope, this is the other one. Um, yeah, so it's. And then the six. Yeah, cool. Melody, chords, solo time. Don't really have a whole lot of like functions, but that's all I got for you, man. Um, if you got questions, let me know.